So we're just going to attach the reel of wire to the pre-soaked mossed ring. We've done the messy bit again for you as you're doing this at home and we've already mossed rings. So Jackie's just attached it right around the base there and as with previous years we're working on nine bunches to go right the way around so we're putting two bits of this lovely fragrant Christmas tree and a piece of holly together in a bunch and then as you can see she's just binding it over about the last inch of the stems just to hold it in place like so then we'll make another bunch up we have got a few little bits of tree ivy but it doesn't seem to have grown so well this year which we'll mix in at odd parts of the, the garland so she's just going to lay that piece across the stems of the ones that she's previously put in and just bind it around just exactly as we've always done it make sure it's nice and tight and don't forget that you can't that, not that you can't it's better if you lay the bunches of foliage at approximately a 45 degrees angle to the wreath and then you don't actually have everything stuck out in the air and then you're not also trying to cover the sticks on the base of the uh, the wreath so just going to work our way around keep that wire tight don't forget i know it sometimes breaks but we do have to keep the wire tight while we're doing this just going to carry on making these bunches we should have included plenty of wire and things in the uh, in the kits so you should have enough Holly's nice and spiky again this year might be able to hear Jackie saying it's <laughs> Just make those little bunches as if you're just making a, a small bouquet or buttonhole. like this is the last piece going in and then when you get to the end um, this is when we make the big loop and twist the wire against the loop and tuck it back into the moss. We'll try and turn it over to show you how we do that. Obviously we can't be with you this time to show you what to do. So we're just twisting that loop on itself and wiring it round. And then she's just going to tuck that back into the base. There we go. So as you can see, that's uh, a nice, a nice fluffy base there, ready just to decorate. So we've sent an assortment of things along for you to use. Obviously, you can add extra. Um, you could wrap tree lights around them again with a little battery pack on and. Just be careful in case everything gets damp. Got the bow for the end. We'll just show you how we push the stub wire right through to the other side. We will, honest. <laughs> It's a bit oh, tough. We're in. <laughs> there we go. So we're just going to pull that right the way through. 
sort my bow out. And then we just push the wire back up into the base. And that's all we do with all of the decorations. Any extra wire just gets tucked back in. So we just make a, a loop or a hook around the wire and twist it. Obviously the foliage <laughs> will hold a lot of it in place. You might wire your gloves in, that's <laughs> part of the fun. Again, she's just pushing all of the uh, surplus wire back into the base. Try to send you a few different things this time to normal. We like to try and ring the changes a bit. And don't be frightened to go around your own gardens either to get extra foliage for those bunches. Or you could use variegated holly or you might have some other evergreen shrubs in there that you can cut pieces of and just literally add them into the bunches that uh, that you're making up to put round. Oh, isn't it typical? Yeah. We can't get it in. I can't get it in, Fiona. I don't think I've soaked this wreath enough for her. <laughs> Let's do a corn. Try and get that in. That's gone in. Yeah. Cinnamon stick. I've got my balls in the wrong place. <laughs> the corn. So you can see that's filling up quite nicely, really. And get these in. There, she's got it in this time, so that's all right. That's actually looking pretty full already, so we can show you it so far and leave it then up to you how you design your own yourself. Just hold it up so you can see it. And there we go, a dog garland. Bye.